How's it going? So uh, we just came back. Oh, look, look what I got. And there was only there was only thirty five of these. Ah, oh, these are fucking awesome, man. Yeah, damn it. I didn't win the fucking gravel again. You know, you're a redneck, man. So, uh, oh, the bench was like oh, third from the top prize or the grand prizes. Uh, we got lots of compliments on it. it was, it's awesome, eh? Because, you know, it has a history from like around here and such. Fuck, I want to win that gravel so bad. And there was some cool little, like, uh, Outside furniture for kids, just awesome, man. It would have been good for grandkids, but nah, whatever. It's all good. The money's for charity. Uh, you went to jail? No, yeah, man. Jeez. Because <laughs> they have that jail in there, right? And people, can you pay the fireman it's extra money? And I got a guy comes with the cuffs and stuff. I'm like, wow. Someone sent me to jail. They won't tell you who. Well, so I go to jail and someone has to bail me out. Eh? <laughs> and I get bailed out. I just get sit, sit back down. And there he is again. I'm like, what? Again? And I had to go back to jail again, man. And we had a lot of laughs. Because the firemen all know them. I'm, I'm sitting in jail. I'm, I'm like that. Where's when's the commissary? I look at the other people. You guys want tattoos? <laughs> we, all, we started laughing. These little girls are looking at me like, what? Yeah. So <laughs> Ryan's laughing. The fireman goes, what? You just got out. I know. So it was lots of fun, and I guess we're all just uh, you know, your typical racist Canadians because, you know, there was no diversity there. Everybody was, like, white. Or, like, idiots tell me I'm not white. They were white and as not white as me. Uh, and it was tons of fun. And there was all the little kids and everything, man. Uh, there was lots of great prizes, um, Really, some really good stuff. People were really generous this year, and uh, uh, man, it was awesome. It was like what good things about being Canadian, right? All the good things I talk about about how my life is, how it used to be for all of us here in Canada. I met a really cool dude. Uh, he was an arborist, man. I'm like, yeah, I know what an arborist is, you know. Uh, <laughs> and all, all people that we all know, yada yada yada, we all know each other, and gosh, it was just so much fun. And uh, James Bazan was there, right? The MP, a conservative MP. And I have uh, I have two pictures of him, right? The, the one that you guys all saw on my thumbnail. That's the first one. I went over and I called, of course, I call him sir, just to be respectful. I said, okay, sir, you don't mind, eh? And I leaned over to him and I said, you're probably going to be sorry about this. And that's the picture we, and I took it. And then he goes, no, no, he goes, no, you can't have that picture. I went, no, too late. He goes, no, no, we'll stand up. And we stand up. I'll, I'll show that picture another time. And I'm like, and I said, ah, I said, that's the bunk standard politician photo. And, and he laughed and laughed. He's a really good sport, man. And that's the home professional politician, eh? You can just see it's a skill set. But he was a really good sport and he got kicked into jail a couple of times too, eh? So a good sport. Um, you know, I don't believe in any of that, but I've never said anything bad about that guy. Um, for because he's always been good for us around here, eh? James Bazan, what a good sport, man! I'm sure glad the MLA uh, was a new guy, not that prick Wharton, because I, I would have been hard to contain myself. I probably would have said something, man. I would have, man. But it was all a good time. And if I would have said something, if it was that Wharton guy, I would have ruined everything. But it was so much fun. And what a good sport that dude was, man. I gotta tell you, eh? <laughs> and I said that. No, that's a picture. And everybody was just laughing, 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 laughing. Like I always look at me. I'm just, I'm just glowing, man. And we had a great time. I had a few beers, maybe like five or something like that. Eh? Um, but it was so much fun. And I got the best prize, I think, that shirt. That shirt's going to be like a coveted item, eh? <laughs> I'm lucky I got one, so um, just thought I'd let you guys know. I, I can't really show what it was like there, you know, because of uh, privacy. And, and plus there's like little kids and all kinds. Like, kids run everywhere, right? So there's all that stuff. Otherwise, I probably would have showed you guys. Um, but that was it. What do, you, what do you think? There was about 400 people there? Oh, probably more. Yeah, probably more. More like four. Yeah, it was just packed, man. And... Uh, it was a great meal. 
it always is. Um, it moves along pretty quick. Like, he get there about 530 so he could get a seat, you know. And, uh, and the bar opens at 6, and then 6.30 is dinner. you got to call everybody and wait, wait your turn, blah, blah, blah. But by within half an hour, everybody's gotten up to eat, right? <coughs> and then whatever, you're going to eat some more. Um, then there's dessert, and then there's some talk. There were some uh, really moving moments, man. Now, I won't say their names, but I know. But there's a couple of guys that had 35 years. This is their 35 years, their 35th uh, anniversary. And there was a couple guys there that have been doing this since the get-go, eh? Um, <laughs> and, you know, they've been firemen here for 35 years. Uh, it was a pretty emotional. There was tears, all that stuff. It was awesome, man. A real sense of community, right? Like how it used to be across all of Canada. All the things that we pitch and complain about on here. Well, like I tell you, when I come on and say this stuff, it's because that still pretty much is my Canada, man. We all care about each other around here. We all, even if you don't even know each other's names, you recognize the people there. Like, like with these events and the fall suppers and all that stuff and, and the pierogi dinners, we come out, you know everybody. Or you know their, you know their face. You know where they live. And a lot of times you, you don't even, they don't even know, you know, you know what I mean? And it was just awesome, man. Uh, wax of kids, lots of women having babies. You can see they're pregnant. All, all those kind of things like how it, uh, how it used to be in this country. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff.